hello guys welcome to my youtube channel it is victor once again it's another day and we have another scholarship if you're joining us for the first time you're welcome but where have you been there are several videos already on this channel on fully funded scholarships from around the world so look around i'm sure you'll find something that catches your interest and if you're a returning viewer a returning subscriber thanks for coming back thanks for the constant support and I hope you get a scholarship sooner than later. So let's go straight into the business of today. And by the way, if you've not subscribed, I mean, what are you waiting for? You're going to miss out on lots of more opportunities coming on this channel if you do not jump on the train right about now. So let's move. We are at Clark University in the US in search of fully funded masters and PhD. As I've said in previous videos, in the US, you can move directly from a BSc to a PhD without the master's. Yes, there are master's courses here, but for most US universities, you get more funding for PhD, for doctoral studies, than for master's. So it gets more funding for PhD than for master's. And interestingly, the application process is often the same, whether for master's or a PhD. So why not just go for a PhD directly if there's more funding for PhDs? So having said that, this is Clark University. There are application fee waivers, and it's very easy. This is like the graduate page. To get an application fee, just go here either for the master's courses. These are instructions for master's and certificate programs. So just go to application fee, non-refundable. There's a link here to the graduate admissions office hours. So you can click on that. You can do the same for the PhD program requirements. Go there and click on this. The application fee here, as you can see, is $75. That's a lot of money for a number of people. So let's look for a waiver. So when you click on the link we opened earlier, you see different sections or sessions rather, different information, information sessions. Here it means if you click on them, you're going to join like a Zoom online event and where they give you details about the university, about different courses and programs. And if you attend that event online, you'll be sent an application fee waiver code or something. So let's just demonstrate. Click on one of them, for instance. Let's see. And it says here, as a thank you for attending our office hours, all attendees will receive a fee waiver code for the $75 application fee. So you see it's clear. So just click on that link either through the master's or the PhD application fee tab, this one. Then it sends you here, then you click on one of these, depending on your availability as well. The dates are written here as well. So this is 30th September. This is, this should be the 3rd of October. So look at the different dates, you can join any of them. And also be conversant of the time. This is um, the US time. I'm not sure of the city that Clark University is based, but you can always do the, do the finding yourself so you know the time zone and when you're going to join the online meeting. Remember, it's not your home country time. It's the time of the city and Clark University is based. So I think it's MA. I think MA should be Massachusetts, if I'm not mistaken or Maryland, <laughs> I don't know. So you can do the finding yourself and see where the university is based. That's your own homework. So application fee solved, just attend one of the sessions and you'll be good to go. So what about the English test waiver? It's also written here. This is still that page we started. You scroll down a little information for international applicants. So they mentioned these exams, the TOEFL, the IELTS, and the rest of them, but they are exceptions. And look at the list of countries exempted from providing the English language test. I think I can see my country, Nigeria, here already. I think I can see Ghana up here, right before the highlights, and there are other countries here. So hopefully your country is also on this list, so you wouldn't have to write 
any of those exams, the IELTS or the TOEFL. So that's great. So I've showed you application fee waiver. I've showed you IELTS TOEFL waiver. You see, we're quite good at what we do here. <laughs> Let's move on. So what about funding? Before we go to funding, what about GRE or GMAT? These are other exams that some universities would ask you to take. So do you need any of them? And we can click on this and see. Some departments do, others do not. It is not compulsory. So check for your different departments and see whether the GRE and GMAT are needed or not. You can see here, not required for some of the programs here. They'll be required for certain, not all of them. So please check for your own program. And when I checked, I think for most programs, the GRE was waived for only those, I think, for business, business finance courses. They were advised to write the GRE or the GMAT. So if you're coming to study biology, chemistry, mathematics, economics, do not worry. It's often likely that you won't have to write any of the GRE or the um, GMAT. So this is for a PhD, and as I said, please try to apply for a PhD directly. And these are the things you need to submit the application form. We've talked about application fee already, personal statement, three recommendation, your CV resume, um, academic CV, English test, we talked about that as well. Talked about that as well. Um, you can see here, GRE scores are required for all school of management programs, just management programs. GMAT GRE scores are not required for other programs, so it's like very clear. Then writing samples for some specific programs, not all of them, like psychology, geography, history. These are the programs that require um, a writing sample. So let's go to one of the courses now. Let's see the available courses at the university. So I click on this tab here, graduate education. It's a smaller university, admittedly, but let's see the number of departments they have and see. So these are the faculties, the different faculties. Let's see the different programs they have. So explore programs. So these are the different programs. Most of them are masters. You can scroll down and then you get some PhD programs here as well. So what about funding? Because, well, nothing says that you'll be given funding automatically when you get admission, right? How are you sure that you're going to get funding or some financial assistance when you apply? So that's very important and that's what we'll be looking at. So let's take chemistry department, PhD chemistry, and see if we can tease out the information about funding. So PhD chemistry, there are two kinds, biochemistry, PhD chemistry. So let's go to biochemistry and see. Let's scroll down a little and let's check for funding. There's something about tuition remission here. So that looks good. So it says here, let's make it bolder. It says here that graduate students receive full tuition remission for five years and serve as teaching assistants for a minimum of two semesters. Students receive a nine month stipend plus tuition remission and summer research support while at Clark. Oh, good. I mean, good standing. So there is funding. And there's another tab here to get more information about funding. So let's see. So tuition calculation, let's select doctor degree. Let's select chemistry. So this is the fee you're supposed to pay, but as they said, this will be waived. And this is um, the scholarship you receive. So you get your stipend, everything covered from 75% to 100%. I think for PhD, most times it's 100%, everything is covered. So we can use this filter function to actually select for all that departments as well. So let's check biology. Has anything changed? I don't think anything has changed. I think it's still the same. Things are still the same, still full fund, full funding and um, economics as well. So there are still some changes in the fees, but the scholarship still remains the same. Scholarship still remains the same. 
you're likely to get funding. So admittedly, this is not a very big university, it's a smaller university, but this can just be your own, your own um, entrance into studying in the US. So as I said, most master's program are not funded. So we can try it here and see, see master's. Let's see, click to master's here. And let's check um, communication. So master's communication, nothing much said about fees here, to be honest. The fees are just 10%, 15%, 25%, 30%. Um, scholarship, I mean, it's very little said about scholarship here. There are some small endowment funds, opportunities, but I'm not sure they cover full tuition. Um, let's see. If I can get access to this. I don't know why it's flung to it. But... So there's no much about funding for masters, to be honest, as you can see. You can check for other departments as well. So as I said, more funding for PhD than for master's. So why not go for the PhD directly? So let's go back to where we started, just to make sure you've not lost um, track of where we started. So we first talked about the application fee, told you to click this to get into one of those sessions. So set up a Zoom meeting and then join the Zoom meeting and get a waiver. English language test waiver as well. We talked about that, which is waived. Um, more information here about international students and the English language test waiver. So we talked about the GRE waiver and the rest of them. Then we went directly to the different, um, what is it called? The different programs, graduate programs and looked at a number of them and see, check for the ones with funding. So you can just do your own research as well, dig in and make sure that your department has funding before you even go to apply. Because it might just be very tragic that you get in, you get admitted, but there is no money for you. That'd be very tragic. You can also send them direct emails, by the way, to ask them about their funding prospect. You can also ask them questions about the admissions prospect as well. Do not be afraid can ask them, oh, do I need to send an email to a professor before I apply? Do I need a professor's um, blessing, professor's approval before applying? Some universities um, ask that or demand that. Others do not. If it is not clear in the instructions, you can always inquire from them. Look for like a contact email or something from one of the um, faculty or the secretary of the department and ask directly, do you... Um, do you accept? Do I need to send a code email or something? So here you can see the specific amount was written. This is the geography department, almost thirty thousand dollars in um, stipend. So this is good. Look around, and I hope you find. I hope you find something in your area of interest. So that's it, guys. Fully funded opportunities in the U.S with application fee waivers, GRE waivers, TOEFL waivers. As usual, guys, we cannot wait to celebrate you. So get to work, start doing your own research and putting your documents together. And of course, consult all the videos on this channel as well. There are several opportunities already shared. So do not be left out. And I'll see you at the top sooner than later. Bye-bye for now. Cheers.